we um, filled it. We changed the oil and filter because uh, it uh, needed to be done since the head gasket. We we were worried about oil and or, uh, coolant in the oil. Uh, filled it with coolant, checked for leaks, and uh, started it up. Um, it did take oh maybe three or four seconds of cranking before it started, and we suspect that's because the fuel rail was dry of fuel because we obviously had that disconnected for a couple of days. Um, it started right up after that, and uh, at above idle speed, it sounds really good, really smooth. We had one check engine code due to the oxygen sensor, and we found that that connector wasn't fully seated, so we reseated it, cleared the code, and it never came back. Then the engine, uh, we started again, and the engine idled really rough uh, at when you don't have any you know, gas applied, maybe to the point of stalling. Uh, when we nursed it up beyond idle, anything over idle, the engine sounded great. And uh, we're wondering if the potentially the computer may have gone back to default settings since it's been disconnected from the battery for a couple of days. Um, we wondered about maybe something we didn't hook up properly, but there are no codes set now. So if it was a sensor that was disconnected, it would definitely be triggering a code. Um, maybe it's a dirty sensor. We actually clean, cleaned the uh, mass airflow sensor because I've had problems with that guy on uh, my Toyota Yaris. So we cleaned that, put that back together, no change. So our, our plan at this point is just to run it, run it on the highway for 25 or 50 kilometers, uh, get it up to normal operating temperature, obviously, and just see if anything changes. Maybe once it goes into closed loop mode, the idle will settle down and be, be smooth again. Um, maybe after the computer learns the behavior of this motor. Uh, so here we are. We tried to back the car out of the garage and realized the brake pedal's really stiff. No power assisted brakes. And so that's obviously a problem. And we thought, well, maybe low vacuum is causing the brakes not to work with power assist. And that certainly could explain why the idle's really rough. At, uh, the idle's really rough. So um, what do we find? T Roy. Okay, so what we found was that the vacuum line to the brake booster was open. It's right here. Mm. So I felt along behind, chased it, and then found the open end. And then right next to it, there's a nipple with, of course, nothing on it. So that's what the problem is so the idle and the lack of brakes. So we're not going to say who put the intake on. Yeah, we so... Uh, we won't say that. So it's not important. We're not into talking about no, that. we're not going to do that no, But, but what we did uh, have helpful. to do... No, we will joke about that for quite some time to come, but not tonight. So the uh, we did have to take the air breather, uh, big rubber cowling off so we could get access to underneath the, the uh, you know, throttle body. And uh, hopefully <coughs> with... Uh, for his very slender fingers so well, be able it's to tough. do the job in there. Yeah, get that. it's tough. Doing that clamp is what's going to be a problem. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Start her up. Idles like a champ. Got any brakes, Dave? Window up. Got any brakes? Oh, good. Now you're just left with an exhaust loop. Yep. Nice. 